Hey dudes, in this episode we're going to check out a few improvements around the fortress. New domes, the causeway, and the finished port called Sabre Duke. And that's all happening right now. What is going on dudes? How you guys doing? You guys doing alright? You guys having some fun? Out there in your Minecraft kingdoms and builds and IRL, I hope so. Um, hope you guys are doing good. I am doing good also. Doing well, excuse me. So, as you can see over here, uh, just on the other side. Oh, this, this whole thing. Oof, I gotta show you that. This whole thing I redid. Took a huge amount of time. I uh, gave these guys a little trim. You can see them growing in all scraggly-like. Uh, but anyway, so I I, uh, I definitely took care of this over here and dropped that one whole level down. I don't know if you remember that, but basically, this whole floor here was not flush with this, and it was a mess. And I fixed it. So we I actually destroyed the whole thing, then rebuilt it. Um, and then I have this over here as a new dome. We're actually standing on the centerpiece of yet another dome that I wanted to throw together today. Um, so I'm gonna do this first, uh, and you guys can, uh, can hang out and build it along with me. Shouldn't be too bad. Should be, should be actually pretty quick. So let's see, I've, I've built a couple of these before. So we'll go five for the cross piece, then two, then one, then two, then straight. Let's see how that looks. So we'll go one, two, three, four, uh, sorry, one, two, three. And then four, five. We'll go one, two. Let's see how far one takes us over. And I think this is gonna be good. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So we'll come out here, one more. And then we'll go to to this one, and then this one will be straight until we hit something. Straight until we hit something, and we're not going to hit anything, but that's alright. So we're going to just bring this flush here, and we are going to work out how this connects in one second. So let's break these intermediate blocks, intermediary blocks, and let's do the other side. So that was two, one, two. Yep, 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 yep. I like that. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So here we go. One, two, one. One, two, and then all the way over. I know we're going to hit something on this side, right? And eventually we will hit something. You know, I'm just going to bring it over. I'll just connect it over, and then we'll see what happens. We'll work it out. We will work it on out. So let's break these intermediaries, intermediates, intermediate rights, <laughs> intermediate blocks, middle blocks, I guess. And then we'll start... Start laying in the glass. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? You know, we'll start by just outlining this one and then we'll see what happens. Yep. Yep. Dig it, dig it. You see how we're doing this? And then we're just gonna follow this. We're gonna do two. So from here, one, two, in. Okay? from the front and then when we get to this one we'll go to the side on this side you'll see what I mean so this is the front okay this is the front and so we'll go in that direction two blocks from the front so one two that's how we get that so we're still going to on this one and on this one also which I can do from the side but now we're at the angle so it switches and then we're gonna start going in that direction so we one, two. One, two. One, two. See how we did that? Let's see. Let's just see how that looks. That might be weird. It might not work. But we'll see. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work over on the side here. So let's say on this one. We're actually going to come up one. I'm just blowing through glass because I got sand for days. Got sand for days. So we're going to come up. Yeah, like that. Like that. I 
like. I think I like. I do. I do think I like where this is going. Let's see. How round like does that look? Oh, I have to build a dirt, dirt stack to get back up there. Let's go distance away and give it a little. Oh yeah, that's nice and smooth and domey. Smooth and domey. Very nice. Okay, so that's gonna work. Yeah, this. I'm not gonna be able to get back up there. Let's pillar up like a pro. Pro pillars. <laughs> dot com <laughs> so let's go to there and then this is the one that we only actually do one so we'll go one two one two oh. <laughs> so we're going this way and so we'll go one two but this one we only actually go one to keep symmetrical with the other side and then we just follow this along like that. Right? And then for this one, it's just one. Yep. Awesome. 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 So this is coming together right quickly. Like so. Boop. And then we just fill in the rest. Easy peasy. Living greasy. You know what I'm saying? So what I like to do on the top of these is. Uh, just throw some of these dudes down because I think they finish it off nicely and they also prevent Mabs from spanning oh, I can't get back up there. I'll just have to break that one. I also like to uh, finish off the sides like this and Then on the inside who almost fell then on the inside uh, Right there. We can actually throw some torches to make sure that mobs don't spawn on top of uh, on top of the, these blocks here and then we'll be good to go we'll be good to go all right I'm gonna finish up this and then we will take a look see how we did maybe think about some pillars okay so I am just going to grab some oak for us to screw around with for a little bit got my axe ready my chop chopper choppity chop chopper check it out pretty slick right so here's how I finished the ends here I just uh, actually no idea what happened there I actually had some glass uh, kind of sticking back a little bit and I decided to wherever there was glass in line with that pillar and this pillar chop it off chop chop or chop it off and throw a stone brick there just to kind of mark where it ended and then I thought that I felt like that created a little bit of uh, I don't know uniformity so I went with it and I think it uh, I think the edges cleared up pretty cool pretty well pretty well right there Bloop. I think that ends pretty pretty smoothly so uh, what I'm thinking about doing is four pillars and I'm thinking about one pillar right here and there and then another pillar here and here so let's let's just slap let's just start start slapping some logs in and see what happens see how this goes okay we're gonna drop it down I don't know if I like where it meets in there but that's okay but right here well, it meets at the same spot, so that's symmetrical, which is nice, which means that this curve is symmetrical here, and because we are centered with this line here, we know that this dome shape is centered on this pavilion down here, and I think it's centered on this one, too. It might be off by a block with that one, but that one's small and tucked in, so that's all right by me. So, and then I think here's what I said. So let's slap that there. And I have to leave the ledge to see if this looks right. So let's see. What do we think here? Big money, big money, big money. No whammies. No whammies. Nailed it. How does that look? Yeah, I think that fits in really well. I think. I think if this one and this one would be too close together, then 
it would be a little distracting and it would close this off a little bit too much and it would look exactly like trees uh, but the way they are now I feel like it references the tree design because it is oak logs obviously um, but it kind of does its own thing what I do think I want to do though is slap some upside down stairs like I have right there so what do you guys think huh just blip blip those little touches I think made a fairly huge fairly huge difference I like I like that now I like how they kind of meet that with that little angle there and then plug in it goes with kind of the design we set up for our our uh, our little trellises in our vine farm it also kind of talks a little bit we're gonna go check this out in one second it also kind of looks like what the front of those looks like a little bit which is sweet um, so yeah so I, I think that turned out really well and then we might I think it would be cool if we had like a huge dome over here but I'm not sure because I do want to build this into a bridge I do want to make this into a bridge I think I want to make it similar to how we did this bridge over here I really love how this turned out here and I love this style of thing which we did all 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 over all over this here and uh well, you know what let's go let's go take a look let's see what happens when i fire this nailed it genius i have killer aim extra nice with these uh so here we are up on this one now you can see you can see i did the exact same thing that i did over on that one over on these now this this was an unusually long span so i felt like it needed some kind of support I guess and then I just I just kind of added that in there um, I gotta actually I can't get there for me I can't get there from here got to go around so I'm gonna go around real quick let me just hop down no there we go so if you remember last time right here this bumped up to this high yeah so I dismantled all this and lowered it and it took a huge amount of time because not only did I dismantle all this and lower it but I put a ceiling in god that took forever so much dirt do it right the first time please I'm begging you do it right the first time you don't have to do that again um, so this awesomeness is down here now tons of space in here for uh, let's see, we don't have watermelon, we don't have a, a fixed position for a watermelon farm, we don't have a fixed position for a pumpkin farm either, so this I think could be a great spot for either or both of those. We have all this over here to mess with too. So let's hop down. I also need to figure out how to get up and down these without jumping and killing myself. So then under here, yeah, I did a ceiling under here too. Now this is a little bit uh, lower roof, lower ceiling rather, and so it feels a little bit more crypt-like, but uh, I think it's cool. It kind of feels a little closer because the ceiling is a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, I mean, but check this out though. And that's like, that's, I think it's pretty sweet. Just a little, little reveal there of the beams. I think is a, I think is a sweet touch. So let's, let's actually let's see how this works. Let's see how stairs work. Oh crap, they work. Awesome. Um, yeah, we definitely need a better way to get from one level to the other. I think maybe a stairwell, a nice long staircase, maybe an epic spiraling one of some kind. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. And uh, I wanted to show you guys the causeway today. Um, it's not done. We did take a look at it before. I know this isn't the first time you've seen the causeway. Um... But, you know, I think, it, I think it's coming together. I do think it's coming together. I want to, wherever there is a light, there is a, there are smooth stone, smooth, smooth slabs kind of running along the sides. And wherever there's a light, I want to throw in maybe a stair. Kind of facing like in this direction, like this, just to add interest. Because it is just, it is really boring and flat and straight. And I mean like the, you know, the supports and the, the brackets on the supports look really good. Um, I just I think the top is kind of boring and we did have uh, we did get a lot done uh, in terms of let's see you know let's see how good my aim is I can always that was terrible I can always there we go I can always just ender pearl myself back and I, I have been testing it so this station is finished and the station off in the distance is finished as well so um 
We could take the trip there. It is a long trip because it is far. It is not like the ride on the end, which is like 45 seconds. This is like a four or five minute ride at maximum speed. So we're, I'm not gonna we're not gonna do that this episode. We will go maybe next episode. So yeah, maybe next episode we'll get working on out there in the distance the tower supports that will start on islands sprinkled throughout the ocean and kind of reach over and support the causeway as it approaches our our grinder out there our dark room spawner so that could be cool one thing i really really want to do though because it's starting to bug me the more i'm walking over here and doing this and then looking back up at here this this looks ridiculous there needs to be some seriously seriously massive pillars here some real structure um, maybe even plug into some towers. Speaking of towers, you check out that little detail I threw in there. I totally spruced this tower up to match the awesome port colors gates, um, which I think we also kind of glazed over. Let's see how fast we can get there to show you guys the wood detailing in the in the top from here with Ender Pearls. Where am I? Holy crap! And then I'm just gonna. Yeah. Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I would have bet against myself on that one. Man, Ender Pearls are awesome, aren't they? Even faster than flying. So, here are the finished services on the portcullis. Uh, you can see these little notches over on that tower over there too, like this and here and here with the smooth stone details and the feet on it where it hits the ground. So that kind of looks pretty solid over there. The fortress is starting to come together, dudes. It is starting to make a lot more sense. We're starting to get a good idea of what the basic kind of feel for this thing is and how it's going to look. When it's finally finished and we have it full of all the farmables, we can actually possibly, we can absolutely possibly jam into it. Um, but I think that is it for this episode. So we were talking about next episode, maybe working out on the islands for the causeway. I would also like to finish this bridge. I need to get some uh, watermelon farms and some pumpkin farms happening too. Got a lot of farms that we still need to build. This needs to get moved because this can't be like that. That ain't going to cut it. That just looks weird there. So we got we got some work to do for sure. Uh, we're going to get cracking moving forward next episode. So thank you dude, so much for watching. I do truly appreciate your view. Thank you so much for taking the time to check this out. I hope you got something cool or useful out of it. I'm going to go take myself a long ride on this railway um <laughs> that is it for me it's the real duke dudes thanks again so much i do truly appreciate your view i'm out